This is my 1962 PowerCat 14T, the deluxe model with a 1963 100 horsepower Mercury outboard installed on it. Not long ago I decided to put brakes on my old boat trailer. Here's how I did it. First, you need an actuator that more than meets your needs. Actuators take the place of your old receiver. You just mount them according to the specs. This fitting came with my brake line kit. You need it to attach the brake line to the master cylinder. Once you have the actuator fitted and mounted, it really helps to take it off. It makes installation of the initial brake line much easier. The initial line is now attached. This initial brake line extends a few feet out when it exits the trailer tongue. This is looking back up the tongue. Before this project is finished, I will be protecting any area where the line touches metal with some form of rubber tubing. It's that kind of metal to metal abrasion that results in line damage. When the first line was run, it went through the wrong hole. Here it is run through the correct hole. The line wasn't kinked when I rerouted it, but almost. You do not want to put a kink in your brake line as you will have to replace it. Now the line can be run over to the side channel of the trailer and head towards the back. Here the first run of the initial line is anchored with one of the line clips that came with the line kit. This is the end of the initial line that is coming directly from the actuator. Shown here is the initial line attached with a tubing coupler to the next line running back towards the axle. Another line clip holds the line in place. Now the line is run across the cross member right in front of the axle and exits through an existing oval shaped hole to where the next item is installed. A line clip is used here as well. This is the oval hole and line placement for the flexible line bracket. In order to weld the flexible line bracket to the trailer, a spot is sanded to bare metal for the bracket and another spot is sanded to bare metal for the ground clamp from the welder. A right angle magnet is anchoring the bracket so that the bracket can be tack welded on. Once the bracket is securely tacked in place, the weld is finished completely around the bracket. Welding requires excellent heat penetration. Here you can see the burned paint on the other side of the axle frame from where the bracket was welded. Here the flex line is attached. Lines from both brake assemblies meet the line coming back from the actuator at this union. A hole is drilled and tapped to mount the union. With the union attached, all the lines are tightened. Lines on the axle use clips that are, were already there. Finally, the system is bled, which is very easy to do. We raise the tongue about three foot and the first cylinder is bled. Once that is done, the other side is bled. It was all the trailer required. Generally, there will be some brake assembly adjustment and fine tuning once the boat is back on the trailer. We're not there quite yet, but we'll simply follow the instructions that came with the actuator and brake assemblies.